the heart of St. Lucia lies Marigold Bay, arguably the most beautiful bay in the Caribbean. Lined with exotic palm trees, filled with the deep turquoise Caribbean sea, and hosting the island's premier marina, Marigold Bay is pure bliss, simple as that. Amongst its beauty, three students from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College will observe Marigold's equally as rich craft sector, find out how one man made an entire living off of Marigold and its tourism scene by, quite literally, using his own two hands and quick thinking. So today we're just going to ask you a few questions on how you started this craft. So how you started your craft? Well, when I started it was like 1979. 1979, wow. And then uh, I just see Marigo has had a lot of tourists and stuff like that. And I just decided, you know, so, some little trinkets yeah, and, you know, and stuff like jeans that, and baskets and yeah. chains and stuff like that. So and that, after that, I saw the business start to grow, you know, so I you know, put more into it, you know. You invest more time yeah. in your craft, okay. Like get some local beads, like to see when I was red down that beads and stuff like that, and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Oh. And then it, then it started to slow down a little bit, so um, uh, I use a lot of beads like Tiger Eye. Tiger and the and stuff like that. And now, I feel really good that I put a lot of time into what I do. Yeah, you made a whole creation yeah. and you have tourists coming in and out seeing your craft, yeah. buying and selling. Just selling loads and crochets, guests from the hotel and stuff like that, which is very good. Mr. Charles's day usually has him selling from 6 to 6 at the bay. As you can imagine, not every day would have tourists approaching in droves, with Mr. Charles quite literally saying the peak business times are from September to December and the summer season. So, in this field of business, patience is a critical requirement when trying to secure sales and, as you'll see in a moment, when creating your merchandise. Turtles, which is made out from the rock from the volcanic, it's called hematite. And this pendant, I'm gonna create it with one of those <coughs> tiger, not tiger, hematite. All right, so I'm gonna mix it into sea glass, all right, which is a bead, a clear bead that I went and buy on the south of the island. All right, so here you go. I have a piece of fishing line. Pass it for the eyeball of the turtle. Alright. Then use the small little plastic beads, silver beads, on each side of the turtles. Alright. Then I'm gonna use one of the tube of the hematite. Now, we can see him connecting the hematite stones intricately to the fishing line with precision. The process of creating these necklaces takes over 10 minutes to make. Keep in mind, Mr. Charles needs to make at least more than 50 of these. Okay, then I'm gonna use the hematite tube, which is the lava stones. Then I'm gonna try to use at least six at a time. So, quick question. You know? so, uh, so, if I, when you're done, yeah. it comes out proper. So, like, if I show out to a girl, I just guarantee you get me one, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Great, oh, yeah. that's what I like to hear. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's it's all it's it's all local made right in front of you, you know. So you tell your girl, look, you know, here's I buy your dad, 
and blah blah blah, you know? Yeah, yeah a little yeah. spicy yeah. up, you know? Fun fact, hematite stones are also called healing stones and are said to bring the owner good luck. Something I'm sure every college student needs. I really like the stuff you have there. <laughs> I might buy some later. All right. 